Hello, this is LameGuy64 and I'm here to demonstrate a little experiment I did uh, in the past several, several weeks uh, on the PlayStation where I basically uh, connect it to the internet through some method which I'll show later um, as a sort of a proof of basically for fun and proof of concept. Uh, it's not really meant for practical purposes in general so also who would want to browse Facebook on your on a PlayStation. Oh wait, I'm not really into Facebook whatsoever, so never mind that. So what I did in the experiment, if we look down here, is that I basically wired up a Raspberry Pi, its uh, serial pins over there, the TXR and ground, to the PlayStation's uh, serial pins, serial I/O pins, which also has a TXR and ground. The reason why I'm using a Raspberry Pi is because uh, it's the only computer I have that has, a, or device I have that has a serial interface that's directly compatible with the PlayStation so, uh, like 3.3 uh, volts uh, TTL logic rather than uh, 5 volts or 12 volts that PC serial ports have and also uses the same uh, logic protocol so well how I connected it was through a uh, DM9 breakout connector that I soldered to the motherboard of the PlayStation uh, in a pinout that's uh, the same as the one you'd find at the DTLH2000's uh, serial, serial port uh, for simplicity's sake so uh, basically to make it easier for me to make uh, serial cables for the console and yeah I basically wired it in a cross wire configuration where TX goes to RX and vice versa so how this works of course you can see the Raspberry Pi connecting to my switch up there so how I was able to do the experiment was that I basically made the uh, world software for the Pi which would basically make it act as like a TCP modem and then a library I wrote for the PlayStation uh, would do the talking uh, to the Raspberry Pi where it will uh, send a command to the Pi to connect to this uh, domain name and then the Raspberry Pi will connect to it and then once it's connected, once a connection has been established, it will relay back uh, the IP address of the domain name and the uh, socket number, Unix socket number, back to the PlayStation, or basically the socket handle of the connection. And uh, so, yeah, it's basically like a old-fashioned uh, dial-up modem where you send ATDT or AT commands to the modem to get it to dial to a internet provider or your friend friend's telephone who, has, who also has like a dial up modem as well uh, to do like a serial connection over telephone so um, right up here um, is the is a SSH uh, terminal of my Raspberry Pi uh, you, you can see here messages from my client software because I, I was testing out the program before I started recording so let's uh, run the program right right now so the client is not running I think it's more uh, yeah it's more like a client because it's a TCP client thing so up here is the command prompt we're gonna run my test program that I wrote for the PlayStation which will which uh, has my PSXNet library in it so which will, the test program will basically download a Test image from the PSX Dev website, uh, specifically the uh, the attachment of the forum post of this uh, little project. So let's uh, I'm just gonna type it by hand because so you guys can admire the clickiness of a mechanical keyboard. This is not really a Cherry MX keyboard, I don't think. So. So I was gonna upload the test program. We're gonna go to the terminal there. You can see it's it has connected a PSX dev domain and then it has downloaded data of an image file. Now it's waiting for a connection uh, connection timeout because uh, the PlayStation doesn't take into account the reply message of the from the ser uh, from the server. So it has timed out and socket 4 is closed that means it's done that's another way to tell if a download is finished you just uh, wait just uh, basically wait for a, a data read timeout 
So the PlayStation has successfully displayed it, and it's now the end of the program, where it's basically halted. So look at the TV, and there's the result: a picture of music, which uh, was downloaded from the internet. It, it's not a JPEG, but it's more of a MDEC image, uh, a custom image format specifically for the PlayStation. So, well, that's basically it of this experiment. Uh, it's very basic. It does not support uh, uh, SSL encryption whatsoever. Uh, more like the Raspberry Pi client does not support uh, SSH, uh, SSL client uh, encryption. But uh, if you want to try this out yourself or if you want to improve upon it, you can find the source code of this uh, project uh, in the GitHub link down in the description. Uh, just make sure that you have a PlayStation with uh, some means of uploading a program to it and a Raspberry Pi. So if you're using a serial method rather than the ExplorerFX method down there to upload your programs, you won't be able to get uh, the PSX client, net client to connect to talk to the PlayStation because it's uh, occupied by your development PC and such. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for this uh, demo. Uh, it's very basic indeed. So, also because the maximum serial data rate of the PlayStation is 115,200 uh, uh, baud, it's the maximum data rate is uh, roughly about uh, 11 kilobytes per second. So. There's not really much of a practical use of this, but uh, this is just mainly for fun, not really, uh, and a proof of concept that a console from the 90s can connect to the internet. And in fact, there was actually a uh, uh, web browser on the PlayStation called the PlayStation Connection Kit or the Connection Disk. I'm not sure, but I'll splice in a picture of it uh, when I'm done recording. Uh, where it basically allows you to do basic web browsing on a PlayStation uh, through a uh, through a dial-up modem, which would connect to the serial port of the PlayStation, and it and the connection disk would connect to it through AT and ATDT commands, the standard uh, serial modem com uh, command set. So. <coughs> And of course, you cannot browse the internet on the PlayStation because I don't have the uh, the an HTML parser that works on the PlayStation, and I don't think there's a need. Who would want to browse the internet on a PlayStation? Uh, so well, I hope you enjoyed watching this little experiment uh, de uh, demo that I did. And so, lame guy 64 is signing out, and see you later. Comment like and subscribe if you want and also as for the music picture you can find it easily in most uh, image borrow sites like E926 just search music uh, if you're a Pokemon fan so yeah see you later